looks so oily. Oh well. No, you don't. I have this stuff. It's called Bye Bye Pores. <laughs> bye Bye Pores. You... I'm not even kidding. It gets rid of all of the oil. Before. Oily. Oily mess. Oily mess. Yes. Just kidding. <laughs> Only on suits. <laughs> Just soaks it like all up. I feel like a Kardashian. Do you feel like a sponge? Because <laughs> all your oil is soaking. Call me Bob. Yep. After. Ooh. 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 Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. So we told you guys to ask us some Twitter questions. Mm -hmm. She here is a therapist, so she kind of- In training. Of, in training. We'll see. Yeah. Okay, so the first question is from Avriana P. Turner. And she asks, how the F <laughs> Do you find real friends? LOL, I'm trying to know. Mm. With that emoji. Look at the people that you want in your life and ask yourself if they are helping you become the best version of yourself. You need to find people that lift you up and you feel genuinely comfortable around. If you're just hanging out with people and you feel like you can't be your full self around them, mm -hmm. they're not true friends. You need to find those people that you instantly click with. You start hanging out with them more and you get to know them more and you're like, <laughs> Even like looking at yourself, how to be a good friend to others, you mm -hmm. need to kind of take that into accountability too because you need to realize like, I need to be giving people good energy so that they'll want me to be around them, you know? Yeah. What's that saying? Your vibe att attracts your tribe. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> That's on so many like uh, t-shirts in not justice. It's like in forever your tribe. in forever 21. Yeah. There's so many shirts that say that. I hate that we're like, I say vibes, but I then know, when I watch I it back, I'm like, uh, vibes. Okay, but vibes are actually but it, real. like vibrations. Vibrations, um, energy, and wavelengths. It's, it's, it's like, a real people thing. People give off energy, and sometimes you can feel that energy. And you and can if you really kind of pay attention to how you're feeling around certain people. People have really good intuition. So mm -hmm. when you have like a feeling about somebody, we have something in our brain, our intuition, where we somehow subconsciously know somebody has like a bad, mm -hmm. a bad vibe. Mm -hmm. And like you have to go with your gut on those kind of people. Just genuinely get to know people without judgment. When you're feeling like you're being judged, like you put your guard up and mm -hmm. you like don't want to be friends with that person. Mm -hmm. So I tell people like just be open. Try to get to know somebody genuinely without mm -hmm. judgment. Because like, not everyone's gonna friends. not everyone's gonna open up and tell you everything that they've been yeah. through. But like, create a space where they make where they feel comfortable. They feel to, like, comfortable share with to you. talk to you about that because yeah. that is the that is how you form human connections with people. Honestly, hearing other people's stories about what they've been through helps you kind of come to terms with, wow, I'm lucky in this way and I'm blessed in this way because this hasn't happened to me, but I recognize that that happens in the world and it mm -hmm. kind of changes your perspective. Perspective shift. Shift it. Did, Did that, that answer the question? And how do? How about tips to make friends? Tip, yeah. Let's, let's kind of um, go on a more. It's hard, but you just gotta put yourself out there. Yes. Girls, find another girl and compliment her. This is what I tell myself. If I'm thinking in my mind, damn, I like her shoes. Mm -hmm. Instead of just thinking that, just bring those words it. into life. We because love compliments, right? The, the things that you say really affect people. And when you just keep bringing positive affirmations into people's life, maybe she was insecure. Maybe she didn't know she wanted to wear those boots today. Yeah, true. Maybe she was like, like, maybe everyone, like, are my boots weird? Uh -huh. Do these go with my outfit? She's yeah. probably so insecure. Yeah. But just your positive affirmation, the little things that will make someone's day. You don't know what That's they've true. been through. And I know it's hard in high school, too, making friends, especially mm -hmm. if you're new. Okay, I remember you were telling me when you went to like, your master's program. Oh, yeah, When yeah. you first transferred, you just didn't really talk to anyone. You were kind of like to mm -hmm. yourself in class. Mm -hmm. What made you just be like, you know what? I'm gonna make friends. When I moved from Oregon to Seattle and like I was really nervous because I had never like moved away from my friends and family and I was super depressed actually for like the first three months. And like I was told, I'm usually, I, would you say I'm an extrovert? Yes. I'm usually really extroverted. Mm -hmm. And there I was just so recluse mm -hmm. and so secluded because I was just like- New environment. Oh, new environment. Scary. Like it's so scary. Changes. I don't know what I'm doing. Like I have no, why did I do this? I have no idea what to do. And so I didn't talk to anybody. I had made like one friend, but I didn't try. Like I didn't try. And then come after my Cause you didn't know term, how to because we came from a small town where everyone yeah. just knew each other already, yeah. so we didn't really have to branch out and meet new people. I just decided, I remember I was like, I'm not gonna like put myself in this situation anymore where I'm just like super depressed all the time. Like I'm gonna just start mm -hmm. trying to make 
connections. And so I remember there was this one girl, her name is Tatum. She's now my roommate. She's the most wonderful person She's I've ever met. She's such a gem. And my other roommate, John. Who's also a gem. Oh, such gems, God. In just their own way. They're amazing. I remember like just recognizing how wonderful these two people were and I was like, this is so funny. I like told them this later. I was like, I literally made it, made you guys my friend goals. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was mm -hmm. like, I had a friend goal. No, that's that a I thing. wanted to be friends with these two people. So I made it a point to like sit by them in all these classes and just talk to them like normal people. And I'm like, I'm not gonna be depressed anymore. I'm just gonna like talk to them and branch out. And then which lo and is behold, such, that's so important because mm -hmm. when you're depressed, it's even hard to do little things. It's hard to eat out of bed. It's hard to, yeah, but take a example, shower. It's hard to even take a shower. It's hard to make breakfast. It's even, it's just hard to do the littlest things. Mm -hmm. And when you're not depressed, like it's hard for people to understand. They're like, oh, you're just lazy, but it's like, no, I mentally can't get myself like a to go chemical, anywhere. It's a imbalance. chemical imbalance and people um, need to realize that depression and anxiety is real. And it's hard and to it's make those little steps to get better. And it's even yeah. hard to recognize that you need to change some things about yourself. Yeah. Instead of just drowning in the sorrow and instead of drowning in that, acknowledging that you, that you do need to work on a few things to get better and actively making those tiny baby steps. If you keep taking those baby steps, You'll be like, wow, I'm getting somewhere. Yeah. Oh. And find people that are just as weird as you. Yeah, you need to find people that you're allowed to be yourself. I around. like can't hang out with normal people. Me neither. Wait a Everyone's second. got a weird side. Everyone's weird. Everyone's you just gotta got be weird, weird and then like you'll attract good Once, weird. Yeah, when you meet someone and you're like, oh, they're boring, like they don't have a personality. When that person's alone, I guarantee they get weird. Oh, they're probably the weirdest. Oh, they're probably the that. weirdest. They probably spend so much time in front of the mirror just like getting freaky by themselves. But then when they're around people, they kind of have to put a shell mm -hmm. and change in order to conform to everyone else's normal standards. Oh, totally. Yeah. Um, when you should just break that off and just don't, just don't care. But it's, it's hard. hard. It's, that's also a step. That's everything is just take yeah. steps. How do I make it easy to talk to my crush in real life? Oh God, that's hard. When you have a crush on someone, so many hormones are going cray, and you start to look at this person as perfect. You're so infatuated by them, you look at them as a perfect being that can do no wrong. Once you start to recognize they've got a bad side, they've got some weird sides, you start to humanize them. They're not as perfect as they seem, although they're so flaming hot. Ooh. And the attraction really makes you hypnotize a little bit. Initially based on attraction. So oh, yeah. that kind of like hypnotizes you and you're like, you're a perfect person. But then just- What did Hannah Montana say? Nobody's perfect, I, I gotta work it Again and again till I get it right Nobody's perfect, you live and you learn it And if I mess <laughs> it up sometimes Hey, nobody's, nobody's perfect. perfect Since we are so in our own bodies and we see all of our uh, imperfections We see all of our insecurities and we see all of um, just things that we want to work on but don't know how mm -hmm. um, but we don't really express that to our crush so you'll be like oh my god they'll never like me because of this yeah and so it terrifies you because you're like yeah. I don't think that anyone will ever be able to like me I've got so much going on but you need to realize that they've got probably even more stuff going on but they yeah. just don't know how to express it so so when you keep thinking that they're perfect like that, it's just gonna cause destruction and it's gonna cause anxiety and you're not gonna wanna talk to them. So just realize we're only human. Ooh. We fall when I get found. How does it go? I'm only human. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I mess it up. Sometimes. sometimes. <laughs> only human. I'm thinking of what I used to do. I was trying yeah. to get attention. Uh -huh. I um, just tried to find out stuff that he liked and would like casually bring it up in conversation. Totally. Like I would like purposefully bump into him. Like classic, I'd bump into, oh my god, my books would fall and then he would you like would help do me. That? I did that one time and it worked. You <laughs> actually did that. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was that oh girl. Gosh, let me help you with that. <laughs> you both reach for the same book and you look at each other. I, tried, I found out like stuff that he liked and then would like talk about it. Started becoming friends with his friends and like mm -hmm. made sure his friends Important. liked me so his like friends would talk only, good about me. Only become friends with his friends if they're good people. Yeah, if they're good people and they were good people. Mm -hmm. But yeah, just like try to find out what they like and like find things to talk about. Yeah. Like stuff that you mutually like and then 
And I feel like once that combo gets started, you'll kind of find things that you both like and you'll be like, oh my God. Totally. Or he'll be like, oh my God, like she's so cool. And then he'll want to like, like explore the shit. things that you like. And then yeah. you both can just kind of explore those things together. together. If you're like about to go to school and you're like, you know what, I'm going to talk to him today or her or whomever. Before you go to school, look in the mirror, look at yourself in the mirror and be like, this is my catchphrase. I'm a fool. What? <laughs> but I'm cool. <laughs> Have you ever seen that meme of, of Corey from Be Mo Boy Meets World? He's like, I, hey, I'm average. This is the mindset you all should be in. That show like taught me everything I know about life and love. When you're talking to your crush mm -hmm. and you think that you're boring, like you think that you don't have a lot going on or you don't like the things that he likes and you're like, oh my God, I don't like the things that he likes. I'm boring. Boring. You need to <laughs> eliminate that thought because that is an evil thought that's coming at you. Mm -hmm. You need to look at that thought, be like, I recognize that you are in my head and be like, what is making me think this? Dig deeper within yourself and realize I just haven't communicated what I'm interested Do in. Do you know what you just did? You just did your cognitive behavioral therapy on yourself. Really? Do you guys know what cognitive behavioral therapy is? So what we have is called the cognitive triangle. In the cognitive triangle, there are your thoughts, your feelings, and your actions. Sometimes you have a thought in your head that says, I'm boring. <laughs> this I'm boring affects how you feel. So when you say, I'm boring, what does that make you feel like? It trash. makes you feel like trash, Rachel. Tra the trash feeling leads to an action. What do you think you would do if you're feeling like trash? If I'm feeling like trash, I will just, I, I could cry. And that reinforces your thoughts. All right, so again, we have the thought that I'm boring. That's the thought. <laughs> that makes you feel like trash. <laughs> and then the trash. Absol no, absolute, absolute trash. trash. And then the trash. Cause wait, no, listen. <laughs> Cause when you feel like you're boring and you're like, oh, I'm trash. It just turns into a destructive and you feel Self -loathing like- Self-loathing you tornado can never, of- You can never not be boring. You're like, yeah. I'm gonna be boring for the rest of my life. And they're like, I'm boring cause my parents are boring. <laughs> they're boring cause their parents are boring. And it's just like an, a, like a thing. Or, they're, or you're like, I'm boring cause my friends are boring. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, you don't have to be boring. Mm -hmm. Just recognize that you're thinking that you're boring and then do that you want to be interested in. Okay. So yeah, with keep that going. Okay. So absolute trash, right? <laughs> absolute garbage. Absolute garbage. On the ground, people are stepping on you. And that makes you do the action of crying. So what a cognitive triangle means to do is restructure that. So when you're talking to this boy and you're starting to think that you're boring, what's another thought we could have? Mm -hmm. What's mm -hmm. another thought? Not I'm boring, but what? Um, What's a more positive thing we could think in that moment? I'm just different. So if you're in that moment thinking, you know what? I'm just different from this person. How does that make you feel? It makes do you feel you, like trash? You don't feel like trash. No. What do you feel like? You feel like I need to dig deeper and find out what I do like to do. And so then when you have the feeling that, you know what? I just need to dig deeper. What makes, what is the action that comes out from that? Well, Rachel, I would have to say growth. Growth. Because that's a part of life. That's beautiful. So we just restructured your way of thinking to make you feel and act a different way. Positive. So instead of being boring or thinking you're boring, you're like, you know what? I'm just different from this person. And that makes you feel like, you know what? It's okay. I just need to dig deeper. You can change the way that you feel and you can and change think. the way the way, the way that you think affects the way that you feel and then affects your behavior. I'm going to put air horns. <laughs> <laughs> But yes, that's true. Thank you guys for asking us those questions. If you want to see another video with Rachel here, um, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for new videos. I'm not gonna say every Saturday, because it's not Saturday. Yeah. So just subscribe for new videos. Around, we'll around, <laughs> around Saturday and Sunday. Around the weekend. Around Saturday but just know they're coming. They're coming. Love you guys. Thanks for letting me hang out. Of course. <laughs> I be like bang bang, shoot shoot in a zoot suit, nigga. Who you? We us and we too cool. No.
Anyway, if you go, let's be the swollen, heavy legs, and we kick it. Uh -huh.